today. Uh, all of us are always sending messages, you know, uh, you know, especially in this age of uh, texts and uh, emails, you know, we comprise or compose our, our message and then we hit send. And, uh, but the truth is we're always sending messages whether we want to or not, you know, and we communicate in a variety of ways, you know, verbal, nonverbal, formal, informal, passive, aggressive, passive aggressive, assertive, effective. We're, we're always communicating, but we can't help but to send a message. We're always sending a message. And, uh, you know, if this weekend you go kick it in the neighborhood, whether you speak or not, you're sending a message. If you decide, decide to stay home, uh, you're sending a message that you love your kids more than you hate your enemies. If you're here today for the lottery, you're sending a message to the world and to your families that, you know, you want to uh, have something positive and good happen in your life and good for you. Well, we're always sending messages. Sometimes, you know, we cling to our message. We want to just get the information out. And sometimes if we do that, it keeps us from actually entering into relationship with people. And, and we always want our messaging to be relational. I remember once I was with a homie named Danny, who a big, huge bot who just got out of camp. And we were at the Astro Burger on the east side. And, and we're going to eat. And we're looking at the menu. All of a sudden, we heard, Lopez. Well, his last name was Lopez. So Danny turned around. And it was one of the staff at the camp he had just gotten out of. And he greeted me and Danny warmly. But he had this message, you know, it was like, it, it was a whole list of do's and don'ts, and he was kind of uh, sort of chewing them out, you know, Danny saying, well-intended and everything, you know, uh, uh, go to school, uh, don't kick it with the homies, don't get high, do good, avoid evil, don't run with scissors. I mean, it was a long list, you know. And when he finished, he went, well, thank you, you know, and uh, he said, look, I'm going to buy you guys lunch, and I said, no, you don't have to do that. He goes, no, really, I just put your wallet away. Thank you, you know, and so Danny and I resumed looking at the menu, and I turned to Danny in a whisper, and I said, order the most expensive thing, and he said, got it. Sometimes we cling to our message, and we just want to get the information out without it inviting a relationship. Sometimes our messages come in surprising packages. Once I was in my office, it was the end of the day, 5 o'clock, and a worker named uh, Louie, uh, his lady came to pick him up, and I knew her, Lisa. And uh, when they were standing in my office, uh, Louis put his arm around Lisa and said, today's her birthday. So I really, so I got up and gave her a hug. And, and I looked at Louis, I said, where are you going to take her tonight to celebrate? He said, well, you know, I'm thinking of taking her ass to Burger King. <laughs> you know, get her one of them crowns, he said. <laughs> well, there was no doubt uh, as she laughed and they hugged that this was about love, affection, tenderness though it came in a kind of a surprising package. We're always sending messages. We can't help but to send them. Homeboy Industries sends a message to the world. It sends a message that there is power in you to transform your life. It sends a message that there is holiness in second chances. It sends a message that invites people to demonize no one at all. It sends a message that there is power and possibility in redemption. It sends a message that everyone is a whole lot more than the worst thing they ever did. So, Friday, February 1, find your message and push sin.